Hello guys, this is Noor and welcome back to my channel. So before I go ahead and start off this review, make sure to just subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button to get notified every time I upload a new video. It will really mean a lot to me and it will make me very happy. Please. So in this video, I am finally sitting down and doing a full review talking about the OG collection from Jeffree Star. Just to let you guys know, and I think I know that I might be late to the game. Once this collection launched, I had to wait three weeks for it to arrive. Mainly, it's not my fault, but I did go ahead and film already two tutorials using this palette. Plus, this tutorial right here is going to be posted on my channel or somewhere here as a card. You guys could go ahead and check it out. But I feel like today, I want to sit down and talk a little bit about it. A lot of you kind of felt that I didn't really like this palette that much, but I am here to talk about it and let you guys know exactly how I feel about this collection just to leave all the disclaimers aside this was paid by me this was not sent to me free even if this was sent to me free i'm still gonna sit down and tell you guys about my honest review about it i am not on the jeffree star pr list yet but i feel like i should be because i have most of his palettes i'm just kidding i'm just kidding but jeffree star get on it i need to be on your pr list <laughs> All jokes aside, you guys know that I love Jeffree Star and I love his cosmetics. I have most of his palettes and I love them. I've created so many tutorials using his palettes and so many reviews and I've done so many giveaways also with his collection because I truly believe in it. I love his pigmentation. I love the quality. I love the unique, the presentation, the packaging. Everything about it is just so unique and it's it literally grabs you even though you don't want it you just grab it but today i'm gonna go ahead and talk about the jeffrey collection i have i still have my shipping box right here and i have a lot of the goodies that i do want to talk about talk about the packaging give you swatches and just give you guys my overall review and give you my final honest opinion about the collection and what i think about it now the collection came out with so many things i only grabbed the things that really grabbed my attention that i really wanted from the collection obviously the palette and the glosses and i also got one of the powders as well but overall i'm gonna show you what i have in here because there's a lot mainly these are just the boxes but i'm still going to be talking about them as well from this order i ordered the jeffree star concealers these are the magic stars these were not with the orgy collection whatsoever they he has them in his regular collection all the time under face and just to let you guys know this i'm not being promoted to say this but i just know recently you noticed that the, he restocked more shades for the concealers if you guys are interested which is amazing and he also created more color correctors as well which is awesome so if you guys are interested check it out i do have a color corrector peach and i do have a concealer that um i basically use on my daily basis right now because i love them so much so check them out check out his check out his website and he has a lot for everybody because that's what i love about jeffree star and what i love about his cosmetic line is that he literally has everything for everyone and i love that let's move on to the palette so i'm gonna start off with the boxes these are empty but i still feel like i need to talk about them so this is the orgy the big one and you have the also the mini orgy which is super cute so this is the packaging so you have all the people that was on his campaign with the word orgy on it and it's so pretty sometimes i like to keep his packaging depending on the boxes but um overall this is a very 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 well done packaging i absolutely love it and then you have the big orgy you have like a nice muted pinky nude background and then you have orgy with all the people on his campaign and the box feels exactly like the palette it kind of feels like a soft silicone um I don't know or like soft latex i'm not sure exactly what is that feeling but it's pleasant to touch um but yeah i love it and obviously in the back you have all the ingredients written it's also vegan cruelty free so that's what i love about jeffree star cosmetics but yeah these are the boxes and let's talk about the palettes so each palette comes with this plastic protector thing which i don't like but i do appreciate that they come with this i normally throw this away because it pisses me off but the fact that they both came with this it's awesome now the mini one i threw it away because you know i just don't need it but the big one i decided to keep it just to show you guys that they do come with this protector thing on the on the 
shadows on the palette itself and then this is the main palette and you have the mini palette so i'm going to go ahead and talk about the packaging so it does have that same material as the box kind of like a soft silicone latex thing i don't know how to call it and then you have the orgy written on it but in this one the orgy is actually 3d you can feel it but then you can also feel jeffree star on each letter he is like an extra 3d uh, on it or 4d i'm not sure if that is the right term but you do feel it. it's quite cool and you know it's quite lifted as well which is really really awesome i love this packaging i find it it's simple i find it unique i find it sexy um definitely something that it's it's cool to have i love it i love it so much so and you also have the jeffree star logo right here that you also feel it more like a, a rose gold metallic from what i see here and yes and in the back is quite simple you have his social media and some little words going on as well it says i should have palette vegan made in usa yada 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 so all of that is written on there and then the meeting one you also have their campaign but it's they're more like on that background pink shade and you have the orgy that's also 3d with this says mini orgy with the Jeffree Star metallic pink logo. And I think Jeffree Star should create this color right here. Like, and on camera, it doesn't make it justice as in real life, but this color, the orgy letters, this color as an eyeshadow, get on it, girl, it's hot. This is, it has the same feeling as well, which I love, and this is in the back. Definitely well thought, and I love that. I'm a packaging freak, I love packaging. Sometimes I buy the collection just because of the packaging, because I am just a packaging freak. Now, with this collection, he launched the Magic Star Luminous Setting Powder, like you guys have seen me use as well, and I am obsessed with it. I've been using it since then. It's just a setting powder with a little bit of a luminous finish to it. I do have it all over my face today. I don't know, it kind of peeks through. I like it because it's very subtle and it's kind of like a hint that you see on the face after. You kind of see that little subtle glow, luminous effect after your whole makeup is done, which I really like. So yeah, so it's just a regular powder and I can give you a swatch of it and just get it kind of out of the way, talk about it a little bit more. So you have this and this move so you can cover that so the powder does not go everywhere. But I'm just gonna take a little bit of it and give you a swatch. And it has kind of that reflect to it, but it's very minimum. And um, this is in shade beige, but it's quite sheer. It does have a little bit of color in it, but you definitely see that sheen going on. And that is what I love. If you are somebody who likes a luminous face, you can go ahead and grab it. Keep note that this is not a crazy highlighted powder. It's very, very subtle, very, very natural. If you like that soft, subtle glow on your face, then this is definitely the powder for you. And the thing that I really love about this powder is that they smell phenomenal. They smell like cotton candy and that is so cool so i absolutely love this and the packaging is kind of like a it has the jeffree star logo the star but it's like a soft rose gold packaging and i love this so you have the magic star wand right there and it's so cute it's super super cute i like it if you guys don't know, that was my think always in my tutorials, my old, old tutorials when I used to do hauls and stuff. I kind of threw boxes. This is not new. So if you don't like that, I apologize. But it's something that I always did on my channel. For the people who watched me for a long time, they know that I always did that. So yeah. And this collection also came out with glosses that I'm going to show you guys. I'm obsessed with them. I find them so cool. I love the packaging. So you have the packaging. It's rose gold. says the gloss. And then you have the names on the top. And when you buy the collection, normally they come in pink boxes. But this one came in the white box. But it's okay. But you, I did get some orgy paper in here. Which is really, really cool. So I like that little touch. These little details. I, it just gets me. And I like that. And when you buy the collection, you have two campaign papers right here. So you have Jeffree Star. Sexy as always. 
stunning as always let's move on to the palette i'm going to uh show you the swatches show you the colors talk about the colors and their names and everything on this one and also talk a little bit more about this one specifically but yeah so this is the palette and when you open it up you have a big mirror that comes with a plastic protector which i still have i did not remove um, and then you have the shades right here. So you have six shades on each line or each row. And then you have five rows in total, which is a total of 30 shadows in there. And it's crazy. That's a lot of shadows and they're all matte and they're all neutral. They start from the light all the way till the dark. So you have a white all the way to a black one, which is really awesome. And this is what it looks like. So you have the Jeffree Star logo all over. This time there isn't any um, artsy stamps like he always does in his palettes. They're all, they all have that Jeffree Star star logo on each pan. Even though I love the artsy one, but I feel like this is just makes it so classy. Uh, the fact that all of them, they look the same. I thought he would put like someone like an eggplant emoji somewhere on here or like the lips or whatever but that did not happen let's get started and show you guys the names just so that you guys know that the names are a little bit on the kinky side which something i like to be honest i find it cute i find it amusing i find it fun and that's what i like about jeffree star he creates fun unique names to all of the shadows and his products in general i'm gonna start off with the names so you have i'm shy vanilla latex implant you have Teach Me, Silk Robe, and Seduction <clears throat> up here. And then the row at the bottom, you have um, Bed or Floor, Body, Gender Fluid, Blowout, Fluffer, and this is called Voyeurism. Voyeurism? I'm gonna leave it um, somewhere on the screen so you guys can read it. And then you have knee pads, safe sex, top, bottom, versatile. And this shade is a little bit hard to spell, but I'm gonna leave it somewhere on the screen so you guys could read it. And in his video, in his video when he was introducing the palette, he said to Google this, but I didn't. So <laughs> you have Scorpio, invitation only, body trap or booby trap, sorry, booby trap, uh, body chills. All night long craving chocolate and then the last row I'm gonna start from here this one is money shot explicit happy ending orgy I'm close and glory hole and I'm gonna give you guys some swatches right here now I don't have a primer on my hand whatsoever but you can go ahead and use a primer if you want to but I kind of wanted to show you the true pigmentation and how they look so these are six shades but i'm gonna start so this one is i'm shy this one is vanilla latex this is implant this one is teach me this one is silk robe and then the last shade is called seduction so this is what they look like. So they do see these have a little bit more of a pinky undertone, except vanilla latex. I feel like it is more on the yellowish tone, but this is the first row. So this is the first shade right under shy. And then you have fluffer. Then you have blowout. Then you have gender fluid. And then you have body. And then lastly would be bed or floor. So it slowly starts to get darker. And these are the shades. I'm definitely in love with bed or floor. It's such a beautiful shade. It's so, so pretty. Next, I'm actually going to be going down from these shades right here. Just to let you guys know. So you have knee pad safe sex, top, bottom, versatile, and then you have that one that I can't spell but I'll leave the name of it on the screen so you guys could read it. This one, ooh, that is pretty. This is very, very pretty. So yes, so you're slowly getting darker to the darker browns and they're very, very pretty shades. 
and then I am going to the row before the last one craving chocolate all night long body chills booby trap invitation only and then lastly from that row is Scorpio so even without a primer these are extremely pigmented and they swatch quite well as well I like them and they feel very soft even though I didn't get the chance to use all the colors in the palette but they are extremely interesting and I probably will use them whether on daily basis or filming some tutorials for you guys my hand is getting red so I do apologize for that I do have sensitive skin now the last row so let's start off with that so you have money shot explicit happy endings or ending happy ending orgy I am close and then lastly but not least this is glory hole which is a black so the swatch of the black is not extremely pigmented I guess this is how he did it but when you pack it up it slowly gets darker but yeah this is the last row so that was all the swatches and all the names of this palette right here. Overall, I do like the palette. I love the shades. I love the concept of it. I love the fact that they're all just neutral shades. I feel like it's a palette that is necessary to everybody, whether you are a new artist or just an makeup artist in general, or even if you're a beginner and you want like a nice neutral palette, this is definitely the one that I would say you can grab. Um, it's pretty, it's nice, and the colors are beautiful. They blend very well together. Um, the only thing with them is that if you want to use them, it depends which primer that you use. I would highly recommend that you use a concealer. I tried my P. Louise with this one and it did not work whatsoever. But if you don't have the P. Louise and you have just a regular concealer, you can go ahead and use it with that. What works well with this one I really like is the Jeffree Star Concealer that it just worked really well. But overall, you can try it with any primer that you already have and see how it goes for you. But overall, this is the Orgy the big palette and I do like it. Moving on to the Orgy Mini, which I kind of had a problem with. I do remember mentioning that uh, they did send me an email regarding this Orgy Mini. So I'm going to be talking about it because I do have the email right here and I will read it out for you guys. And it says you are receiving this email because you recently purchased a mini Orgy palette or the Orgy palette bundle, which is what I bought. We have discovered that a batch of those mini orgy palettes was not properly mixed during the formula production. Please know that the current mini orgy palette you received is perfectly safe to use. However, our team would like to make sure every customer has the best experience possible. So we're working hard with our production team to get you a replacement mini orgy palette. So yes. So that's why I think I've been having trouble with this. That's why I feel like I've been having a lot of fallouts. That's why I think like the colors are not going well on my eye just because the production was not done correctly for the mini orgy. So I am quite excited to get the replacement and see what's the difference between this one and a new one. If you guys want me to create that video, let me know and I will definitely put head to head. Now they did say it's safe to use, but I did notice one thing on my eye is that every time I applied it, it burnt. So I don't know if it's actually safe on the eyes, but I still use it and I do have it on my eyes right now. I did feel a little bit of a burning, especially if I added the color in the inner corners or the powder kind of went into my eye. I felt a burning feeling. Let's talk about the palette and show you how it is. Now I can't really give you a full justice since they said that this is just a somewhat a production that they did. I guess I'll put them head to head when it arrives if you guys want me to do that. The texture, not my favorite, especially on this one and this one, but these are the color scheme. So you have glass wet, you have champagne drip, gagging, soaking sun, Frozen Fire, Bath House, Explicit, which is the same Explicit, but this one it is shimmery, and Foam Party, and Eiffel Tower, which is so, so unique. It has a kind of like a rustic look. I love that. Glass Wet, Champagne Drip, and Gagging. 
And I would say gagging and glass wet are definitely not my favorites. But again, I have to put them head to head with the actual palette and I'll give you guys my overall review about these two shades. Soaking Sun, ooh, I love this one to be honest. This one is a pretty, pretty shade. And you have Frozen Fire and Bathhouse. Oh, Bathhouse, sorry, I swatched it on the wrong finger. <laughs> But yeah, I would say the second row, definitely gorgeous. I love the colors and I did use Soaking Sun and Frozen Fire on my eye today. So you have Soaking Sun here and then you have Frozen Fire in, in the middle. Um, the tutorial will be on my channel for you guys if you guys are interested to see it. But overall, the second row in the mini orgy, I definitely love. The last row in the mini orgy, I, I have glitters literally everywhere right now. So this is Explicit, this is Foam Party, and Eiffel Tower. So definitely Foam Party, not my favorite. Again, you guys have seen me talk about this in my other previous tutorial using the color. But Explicit and Eiffel Tower, gorgeous. So that concludes my swatches and my thoughts about each color for both palettes. Um, overall, this one is beautiful. I can't wait to get the actual palette for the mini orgy and kind of put them head to head and let you guys know what I think about both, but yes. Let's move on to the glosses. Now he did come up with few shades of the glosses. He also came up with a the mini vault with all the liquid lipsticks. I don't have that because I just didn't get it. But I got two colors right here and I love both of them so much. So you have Mouthful and you have Body Count. Now Body Count is more like a nice nude color and Mouthful is kind of like on a sheer with pinky iridescent. I do have Mouthful on my lips today. So normally the Jeffree Star glosses, they look like this. And he came up with the one with the Shane Dawson, the clear one that looks like that. And then you have the orgy that is just muted nude and I love, love it. I'm obsessed with the packaging. I love the packaging. I find it so unique, so simple, so like elegant, especially in this color. I love it. So I'm going to give you a swatch on body count. So they all have that applicator. I love Jeffree Star scents. It's kind of like a sweet, subtle, not too overwhelming. That's why I really like it. So I'm going to give you a swatch. This is Body Count, which is gorgeous. You can wear it on its own or you can also wear it on top of a lipstick. I would say this color on top of Celebrity Skin. Gorgeous. And then you have Mouthful. I do have it on top of a Mannequin. On my lips today but on its own is a nice sheer it's this one right here it's quite sheer and it has that pinky iridescent in it so that concludes my thoughts and my review on the orgy collection from Jeffree Star if you guys want me to create more looks using this let me know in the comments down below and like I mentioned once I get my mini orgy palette I'm definitely going to compare the one I have to the actual original one and kind of see if I still get the same problem. Please let me know in the comments down below if you purchased this collection or just give me your thoughts in general. If you like it or not, I would love to hear what you think about it. And I'll leave all the products that I purchased from this collection in the info box for you guys if you guys are interested. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!